Hi, Wayne O'Keefe here, fishing the Barwon River. First fish off the bat, a really nice trevally. Now I'm fishing just on the turn of the tide. So um, what's happening is that the, the outgoing tide is at low tide right now. There's a bit of flow going through, so it's a bit hard to, to hold bottom. So um, I've got 60 gram burly cages on, putting the burly out there. Some of that is floating away, but I'm okay with that because what'll happen is pretty soon we'll get an ebb tide where the water starts or stops flowing altogether. I'll be able to get more burly into the area, which is where I'm going to bring the fish in from. And then what I'll do is I'll keep going. The tide will move the other way. As the tide is building, I expect the fishing to get in pretty good. I'm going to run out of daylight in a couple of hours, unfortunately, so I have to do what I can. There's no lighting around here, so I have to uh, really get what I can out of the light that I've got. So I'll get as much burly into the area as possible, and hopefully I'll, uh, I'll do better than that trevally that I just got before. So there's also little fish around, but you're bound to get those when you're actually getting burly into the area. So I'll keep going and improve on this. Okay, I'm under something else and I've got very, very light. I've got using my survival gear, so I've got a very, very light leader on this. So we'll just see what it is. So I've got to be very careful about trying to get this one in. Okay, so it's another Trevally, not a bad one, on suicide gear, well, basically on my survival gear, okay? Pre-stretched line, light, small hook, works every time. Well, I've been catching plenty of fish, mainly uh, mainly smaller ones, like there's a, there's a lot of uh, Tommy Ruff out there, so I've been attracting those into the area. Missed a couple of big bites, um, got a couple of Trevally, and looks like I've got this one. So. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, another trolley. Okay, so this is not bad. They're biting quite well. Hope to get a bit bigger. Might even change the hook size up a little bit. Um, I've been using prawns and the spicy chicken. And the spicy chicken's outfished everything, but at least I'm getting some, uh, some trevally as well. Now what's been really good is that uh, as the light has got lower and um, it's got a little bit darker on the water, the fish have really got braver. I'm not actually casting that far out. This is, the tide is very, very low. The water's not really deep but I've only had to cast about, probably just a bit over a third of the way out, um, and that has been deep enough for the fish to, uh, to be coming in. So burley, most definitely my bite hard burley, has been bringing them into the area. The spicy chicken has been the thing that's really sort of um, been catching most of the fish. And I've got a lot of people casting over the top of my, <laughs> my, um, my gear over where I've cast as well. So, uh, okay, you've got all the challenges, but there's a few people um, fishing along here, so you've got to expect that's going to happen. But anyway, it's been pretty good. Well, there are a lot of trevally about, big and small, but I, I'm keeping them going, and that's the thing you've got to do keep the burly going. Right, got something small here, um, which is good, but uh, small. So I'll just see what this is. Oh, okay, I guess it's not that small. Mullet, not bad. So all I'm doing, I'm just casting at the same spot every time. I'm using burley to attract the fish. I'm using small hooks to get fish with small mouths. Um, occasionally I've, I've hooked a reasonable trevally on that, but I had to play it very well. And the bigger stuff got away. I've got another heavier rod there that I'm using, but because it's not really finessing it enough, because uh, obviously the bait doesn't present itself quite as naturally, it's not getting as many fish. But um, look, there's other people here with really heavy gear and they're just not getting the fish. So today, light line is the way to go. But always take your heavy gear with you because you know you just never know. It might be just the perfect time for those big fish to come through. And uh, I'll just keep going here, but it's 
just accuracy that's doing it for me and it's just uh, quite a bit of fun you know getting the bites all the time I'm missing heaps but I don't care it's this is fun you know and all of these fish are going back so another mullet and they're getting a bit bigger in size so that's not bad anyway put this one back now I will admit that you can catch a lot of fish with the survival of sub survival survival gear but the, every now and again this happens okay so that was a uh, reasonable fish just broke that off so a small hook okay but I couldn't I couldn't actually bully it in and uh, when we got in some near some weed and stuff like that it just uh, it broke away so it's quite big but that is the, the one limitation with this it'll sometimes you know break off and you'll lose a fish but you get so many more fish by using the lighter tackle okay line it up and cast it in oh feeling bites the moment that hit bottom the moment that hit bottom I started to feel bites on that the only trouble is with um with the bigger hooks and everything I think it's they're, they're just they're, they're able to pull the, the bait off with the smaller hooks they're not and that's why I'm catching more on the, the, um, the lighter rod I may have lost the bait already okay as we get into darkness the fish are coming on um, I'm pretty sure this will be another mullet and uh, probably a reasonable size but of course I, I get this wrong all the time so it could be just about anything <laughs> no, it was a mullet there you go looks like a good fish though oh and it's a nice trevally trevally yeah very well done thanks mate that is a beautiful fish now have a look at this we think this is probably a kilo plus trevally uh, caught on the Barwon River. Have a look at that. And what was the bait that you used? Well, that's the secret thing. Okay, so it was a secret <laughs> bait. Okay, so you're not getting word on that, but these fish are there. Okay, thanks very much for that. Cheers. So I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, call it quits now. It's getting a little bit cold, but the fish have been just fantastic. And you just saw that uh, the size of that trevally, that kilo plus trevally that was caught. Um, and it just shows you what's you know what's possible here secret bait for that one I have no idea what to use but um, beautiful fish anyway it's uh, it's just a matter of um, you know using the right bait being persistent accurate casting and uh, it's just sensational fun and this is like many of the estuaries we have in Victoria you know if you just get those estuaries close to the mouth there's heaps of different types of fish there always a good day out anyway if you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next time